Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, getting ready for the big game this Super Bowl weekend as a celebration of its 50th anniversary between two football teams in order to win the championship and get a chance to go to Disneyland or any other Disneyland park out there. Yep. You just won the Super Bowl. What are you going to do now? I'm going to Disneyland! <laughs> Well, anyway, I decided to review the 37th Peanut Special called You're in the Super Bowl, Charlie Brown. But it was the only special that aired on January 18, 1994 on NBC due to the fact that the Super Bowl had aired at the time. So it makes sense that CBS didn't get the rights to it since it was the only network that played all the Peanut Specials. But not only that, but this was the only home video release from Shell Gasoline as a sponsor to the NFL, National Football League, to have the rights to. Because Shell Gasoline had released two peanut specials, a Charlie Brown Christmas, and it's Christmas Time Again, Charlie Brown, the other sequel. And they're the ones that have the rights from Paramount and Warner Brothers, yeah, Warner Home Video. But this was the only special that they never got the rights to because of the NFL. So they had to pay them to get the rights and be able to release this on DVD for the very first time. As well as Blu-ray if they get a chance. But hopefully someday in the future they will. Now I first had this VHS tape when I went to a local Shell gas station with my family. At this rate with my uncle and my grandmother. Uh, just after we went to church, you know, we decided to go to the gas station just to get some gas. And then when I went inside the food mart, I spotted a VHS tape of You're in the Super Bowl, Charlie Brown. And since I'm a huge fan of the Peanuts, I wanted to pick it up and check it out because this was a new special that i never seen before. So I asked my uncle to buy it for me. It only cost like um, $4.95, pretty cheap back then. It sure is. Nowadays you can get it for less uh, at your local thrift store and Goodwill or even Amazon.com if you get a chance. But it sure was a good deal for that because it was the only special that they ever had on sale. He bought it for me and since then I started watching this special over and over and over again. Never got tired of it and I almost worn out the tape which I'm glad I didn't. And I later transferred it to DVD, because we never had a DVD release officially, sadly. And, of course, I gave the VHS tape to my sister, so that way she can keep it, in order to have this special of my own for DVD. So. But it would have been nice if I had gone to Goodwill and find some copies uh, flowing around, and maybe picking one that's in good condition, just to keep it for nostalgia reasons. So Maybe I might do that someday. But either way, um, I really did enjoy it, um, despite of its problems. But let's get right to it. It stars Jimmy Gardino as Charlie Brown, John Christian Gross as Linus Van Pelt, as well as the kid who screams, or yells, you know, saying, 74.2 inches! Uh, Molly Dunham as Lucy Van Pelt, Haley Peel as Peppermint Patty, or Patricia Reithart. Nicole Fisher as Marcy Johnson. We also have Franklin and Pigpan along, which unfortunately, you know, they haven't speak in the special, but they were there. With Steve Stolier as the announcer, and I believe he's the announcer for the Super Bowl and all the other football games. Crystal Kuntz as Melody Melody, and Bill Melendez as Snoopy and Woodstock. It's created and written by Charles M. Schultz, and it's directed by Bill Melendez. The special begins where we meet Snoopy as the world-famous coach, getting his football team, the Birds, ready as they join in for the Eastern Champs for the AFL, Animal Football League, that is, by going against free teams the cats, the dogs, and the bisons. Yep, as the coach decided to instruct all the plays that they need in order for them to tackle them. And during its team, 
they actually crushed the cats from 38 to 0. And as they celebrated its victory by getting their first trophy, uh, the team actually poured in a bucket of Sherpaid on the coach. Yeah, which, of course, Sherpaid is a parody of Gatorade. Now, meanwhile, Lucy decided to trick on Charlie Brown by pulling the football away, like she always does, until they were interrupted by Pepper and Patty by showing them the announcement that there's going to be a football Pat Pussin kick contest. Yeah, the first prize is to win a bicycle and a chance to go on a trip to the Super Bowl. Yeah. So everybody should enter the contest in order for them to win. Yeah, and of course, Lucy had pulled the football away. This when uh, Charlie Brown was already getting ready to kick. Yeah, she pulled it away just, just by looking at the, the poster. Anyway, Charlie Brown and Linus were practicing for the contest until a little redhead girl named Melody Melody is watching them, already getting the attention for Linus. They decided to introduce themselves, and then they took them to an ice cream parlor just to have hot fudge sundaes. Already impressing her, they were telling her that they were going to be entering the contest, which Melody is, is actually rooting for them. After that, the birds decided to play football against the dogs, which they end up crushing them, and they won from 58 to 0. Which, of course, once again, just like the first prey, you know, the coach gets dumped by a bucket of chirpay and won another trophy. And then we finally get to the punt and passing kick contest, as Charlie Brown and Linus had seen Melody watching them. We get to see... Lucy, Franklin, Pepper and Patty, Pig Pan, Marcy, as well as Charlie Brown and Blindus wearing all these NFL uniforms to see how they throw and kick. And then you see two boys bringing in their measuring tape and measures how long the kicks were by having one kid yell something like this. 70 feet and 4 inches! Yeah, and, and it's been going on uh, throughout the contest. And you hear an announcer telling them for good luck. By the time Charlie Brown and Linus were about to beat them in their games, it turns out that Melody, instead of watching them, she decided to join in as their last contestant, dressed up as a Dallas Cowboy, to actually beat their score. Yeah, what a traitor. So now she finally won the bike in the trip to the Super Bowl. So now she offered uh, Linus and Charlie Brown to watch her on TV. Yeah, that sucks. Causes Linus to get upset. So then back to the uh, AFL World Championship. Now they're going against the Bisons as they finally win 62-0. to zero. So now the birds are the world championships, and once they finally celebrated, they actually poured Sherpe on Lucy because, as we know, Lucy had told the coach that that he's horrible and he needs to to teach them a whole lot better than this because all of this is just dumb luck. Well, that's true because the birds have been crushing them over and over and over again. And they really need some better plays. That way, the other team needs to get their chances because they keep losing. I mean, I mean, all three of these teams just kept on losing against them. I mean, they're, I mean, come on. I mean, the birds that are this small. They they get to tackle them completely <laughs> than they do. I mean, they're they're too big compared to them. But at the end, Charlie Brown and Linus are at the wall. You know feeling very down about what Melody and Melody had done. And then suddenly, you know, Charlie Brown gives Linus his advice that, that Lucy said that you can't go through life doubting everyone. And yes, Lucy once again bringing in the football just so Charlie Brown could kick it again. And he just says, I can't stand it. And it ends. 
Now it isn't the best nor the worst peanut special I've ever seen. Well, technically speaking, there's no such thing as a worst peanut special, unless you can come up with your own opinions about it. So to each their own. But I thought it was a fun and decent special, which is quite different for all the peanut specials I've seen, because this was, of course, the first special that focused on football. I mean, the two specials was uh, "It's Your First Kiss," Charlie Brown, and "Someday You'll Find Her," Charlie Brown. When it comes to that. But unfortunately they did borrow some stock footages from It's Your First Kiss, Charlie Brown. Mostly shots of the cheerleaders and the, the whole audience by cheering for the football team. Which is the birds of course uh, going against uh, all the animals like the cats, dogs and the bisons. Yeah. So that's pretty much what they did. I mean because you could tell the difference between the animation from 1993 to the animation from the 70s. So. However, there are some problems with the special, mostly from the football plays between the birds and the animals. You have the, the cats, the dogs, and the bisons, where you just have them pretty much doing exactly the same thing. They're trying to get the football, and they always keep getting tackled on by the birds because they're actually stronger than they are considering how small they were and they always keep getting knocked out you know you get to see two of them actually jumping up and down you know feeling very angry and that they're losing and and you have uh, one of them actually sliding just as the birds went up to the touchdown you know from the 10 the 20 and the 30 yeah it just repeats the same thing over and over and over again they just couldn't come up with better footages than that that was the problem. And then, not only that, but adding the character of Melody Melody just seems like a cop-out. Because it's so predictable that just as soon as Charlie Brown and Linus had to impress her and, and telling them that they're trying to enter a contest in order for them to win a bike and enter the Super Bowl, you knew exactly what's going to happen once Melody watches them. She's going to end up winning just by becoming the last contestant and that's just so wrong in so many levels it doesn't make any sense and that that did piss me off too so I, I don't blame Linus for being upset I mean that that, that is just a, a dumb move that Melody had just done it's ridiculous now I'm sorry I had to say this but I don't think this is one of Schultz's uh, finest scripts that he wrote I think he could have wrote it a whole lot better than what it was given. But I guess in the end, you know, nobody's perfect. But I never forget that wonderful score by David Bonat, a great composer for all the later Peanut specials, by creating a football theme that just works so well that it just feels like you're really in the game. And it, it just seems so memorable, too that I wish they had used that theme in all football games including the Super Bowl instead of the, uh, the the familiar theme that they use in the SFM Holiday Network yeah they've been using that theme for so long mostly for ABC and all these other Super Bowl football games and all that yeah because I'm always familiar with that also, you see the Peanuts game wearing the NFL uniforms. Yeah, with Lucy wearing the Los Angeles Raiders. And Franklin wearing the Houston Owlers. You know, Pepper and Patty wearing the Denver, the Denver Broncos. And Pig Pan is wearing the Green Bay Packers. Marcy is wearing the Washington Wetskins. You know, Charlie Brown wearing the San Francisco 49ers. Lines been pelt wearing the Los Angeles Rams, Melody Melody, of course, Dallas Cowboys, and the Birds, you know, wearing the Philadelphia Eagles, with Bisons wearing the Buffalo Bills. There you go. But nevertheless, it, it is one of the rare specials that you could find, and I hope someday they do pick it up, if they ever get a chance. But either way, you know, it's not bad. I mean, it's not great. But not bad. So, there you have it. That's your in the Super Bowl, Charlie Brown. And I give this special three stars.
I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.